Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Stock Compounder. My name is Brad, and today I wanna to talk about how to work for Google from home and get paid. Obviously, if we're working, we wanna get paid. Um, now, this video is really about YouTube and what I'm doing right now, making YouTube videos. Now, the cool thing about, the cool thing about Google is that anyone in the world can work for Google and make money. And so I'm on this journey here to monetize my YouTube channel. Now I've made a video a day for the last 41 days. And I wanna give you guys a little bit more of a sense for you know, how I'm approaching monetizing my YouTube channel and my best guess in terms of what it's gonna to take to get to monetization. So um, really, so I have a, a passionate niche in the value investing space, which is great. It's one of the you know, highest paid spaces in YouTube, uh, talking about investing and stocks and, and finance. Um, but really what you need to do first is define your niche. What is it that you're passionate about? What is it that you want to make videos about? Either entertainment videos or educational videos. Obviously I went the educational route. Uh, but I did a little research, and there's another guy in New Zealand who's making videos about investing. Uh, his channel is Investing with Tom. And, you know, he made a, a video when he got monetized. And he talked about, you know, how long it took and what he was making in the first month and second month. I thought that was really cool. So it took him 91 videos before he got monetized. Okay, now he was making a video or two every week. So, you know, it certainly wasn't uh, a fast path. That's, that's what, probably, you know, 60, maybe 60 weeks or so, 50 to 60 weeks. So it probably took him a year, maybe a little more than a year to get monetized. Uh, for me, making a video every day I'm hoping to hit that same target of getting monetized after 90-ish videos, but I'm making one every day. So, you know, I'm on day 41. I'm hoping in another, you know, 49 days I can be monetized. And I'm going to keep you guys posted about how I'm doing with that. Um, but part of this, how to work for Google from home and get paid, is having an expectation for yourself, a reasonable expectation about what that's going to take. And, you know, for me, or for a lot of people, it's easy to not get started because you see all of these YouTubers who have the fancy equipment, they do, you know, the fancy editing, cutting in music and all kinds of images and video clips within the video. And it's easy to get discouraged it's easy to think, well, you know, I don't know how to do all that stuff, so I can't compete. Nobody's going to watch my videos. And um, where I started, I started with my iPhone. I'm, I'm filming right now on my iPhone. Uh, I've got my AirPods, and I've got a little tripod, but not that's not even necessary. You could just, you know, prop your phone up, you know, against the window on something. Um, so you really don't need any kind of equipment other than what you already have to start making videos on YouTube, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. Like, you can work, you can get paid from one of the most highly regarded companies in the world with just an iPhone, if you're willing to put in some work. You know, if you're willing to, you know, grind it out every day for three months, there's a good chance that you can you know, work for Google from home and get paid doing it. And I, I'm hope I, I hope I'm able to hit that three month monetization. Um, but, uh, and obviously your first video probably isn't gonna be that good. And that's okay, you know why it's okay? Because nobody's really gonna see it. Okay. As you make videos day after day, you're going to get better. You're going to figure out, oh, you know, this, this works better. I feel more comfortable with this. Or, you know, you're going to pay more close attention 
to other video creators in your niche and what they're doing and what people are responding to. You know, what's, what's helping them grow, especially if you read the comments from those um, YouTube creators. What are people saying about their videos? What are people interested in? Like in my niche, I mean, there's some really big players in my niche. There's uh, Graham Stephan, who's in investing. He's more on the real estate side than the stock side. But, I mean, he's just blowing his channel up. I think he's probably around 1.8 million subscribers at this point. And the cool thing for creators like us is, you know, I can sort his videos by most popular. And I can see what topics are you know, getting the most interest from from his viewers. Uh, they, the data is there, you know, he's not, there's no secrets about what's working. Um, so that's, that's really cool. And, you know, obviously you can do that in any niche. And, you know, you, you look back at some of these guys who are pretty big now, like, uh, you know, Ryan Scribner, financial education, like I mentioned, Graham Stephan, Andre Zik, who's who's a newer, you know, financial educator on the scene, but he's just growing at such a fast clip. You can look at their first videos. You know, if you if you're worried about, all right, I'm nervous to put this video out because I don't want to look stupid. I don't want to, you know, I want to make a good first impression. Like, what if somebody sees it and they, you know, it's crap and they never, you know, want to watch another video from me again. Or what if somebody berates me in the comments, right? There's all of these fears that we have. I remember when I made my first video, you know, I had the phone turned on and I was looking at it and I couldn't speak. Like I was, I was kind of paralyzed. Like I was just so embarrassed. I was too embarrassed to like try. And it was, it was interesting to, to feel where I was uh, at the beginning. And it, it really gets easier with practice, guys. And it gets easier when you are interested and excited about what you're talking about, if you're educating what you're teaching people. Um, and it helps, it's helped me learn a lot by putting out videos uh, on stock market investing. It's helped, it, it really makes you uh, integrate the material when you have to teach it because you want to convey it in a clear way. And in order to do that, you have to really kind of get to the essence of the lesson in order to do that. So it's helped me learn. It's helped me connect with other people like this guy investing with Tom in New Zealand. You know, I, I've learned a lot from his channel already and we've had some, you know, chats in LinkedIn and it's, it's just, it's fun to connect with other people who have that shared interest. So there's just a lot of benefits I found already that are coming out of, you know, just doing this for 41 days, just not even a month and a half um, of putting out a video every day. And the last thing I want to say about this is, you know, especially for investing, but really in any niche, uh, you can really tap into the power of compounding on YouTube, right? Now, in the stock market, you know, you hear a lot about compound interest, eighth wonder of the world. Compounding is just this incredible thing when you can tap into it. Like your, your wealth can just really take off if you know how to tap into this compound growth engine. And it's the same on social media. I've seen it on Instagram. I have like about 32,000 followers on one of my Instagram accounts right now. I'm starting to see it on LinkedIn. I have about 10,000 connections on LinkedIn. And really with all of these social media channels, when you put out content day after day, content, that was interesting. I don't know where that accent came from. But when you put out content day after day, uh, magic starts to happen where you get this kind of exponential network effect that happens uh, with, with the YouTube algorithm, with whatever algorithm of the platform that you're on. Uh, it starts, you know, serving up your content to other people. I did that again, Con content. 
at an exponential rate. And uh, it's, it's really fun to be in that, to, to experience the power of compound growth. And uh, so it's really cool as an investor to be able to get kind of a lesson in compounding outside of investing, to just remind myself, oh, right, here's the power of compounding at work. And that's kind of how I look at monetizing my YouTube channel as well. You know, I think investing with Tom, he mentioned he got like, I don't know, $90 the first month that he got monetized on YouTube. And then the next month was 500 and some dollars. So, you know, it, it starts off slow. You know, my first couple of videos, like the views, I don't know, you get like less than a dozen views on each one. But then, you know, you get 15, 20, 30 videos, you can start to see patterns like, oh, what are people searching for where they're finding my videos? And then you can double down on those search terms. And there's just a lot of opportunity to um, experiment, figure out what works, double down on what's working and grow exponentially. So I'm already starting to feel it on the channel here. Things are starting to take off. It's exciting to be in that kind of beginning of exponential growth. And uh, we're gonna keep rolling with it and see what happens. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm gonna probably make either every two months or every, uh, every two weeks or every month, I'm gonna make a video kind of breaking down how my channel is growing, you know, what, what I'm seeing in terms of, you know, whether I'm on track to hit uh, monetization in three months or, you know, how I might need to tweak it in order to, to try to hit that. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share with you how to work for one of the top companies in the world from home, no interviews, you know, you just flip on your camera. There's nobody telling you what you can and can't produce. You just put yourself out there, start talking about something and see, see what happens and be consistent about it and have, have the confidence, have the faith that you know, something is gonna come out of it if you stick to it and you, you're committed to getting better day after day. So that's all I wanted to share, guys. Let me know if you like seeing videos like this. You know, not quite really in the investing realm, but more about, it's very meta, like talking about the videos that I'm putting out on, on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you want to see more of that or if you want me to just stick with investing. You know, you're here to learn how to make money in stocks. Just talk about that, Brad. Shut up about all this other stuff. But uh, yeah, either way, let me know. And thanks for being here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.